Hello, and welcome or welcome back to the AJF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana, I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer, and today's video is gonna be all about Adobe Fresco 4.4 update. This new version of Adobe Fresco brings about some pretty exciting updates that I can't wait to show you guys. Improvements to how you can make shapes, motion updates, and more. Let's jump in. So our first update is to our Learn tab. You can find that by navigating to the left-hand side and tapping Learn. You'll notice that you have these handy categories. So you've got Quick Tips, and it'll navigate you to the appropriate in-app tutorials. If you wanna learn about live brushes, motion, and so on. And according to whatever category you select, you'll also be navigated to the appropriate YouTube tutorials on the Adobe Creative Cloud channel. So it'll take you straight to YouTube with the playlist full of all these tutorials that you can learn from. So they've really streamlined the experience of getting people who are using the app to learn more and understand more about the app, which is really cool. You also have the option of simply typing into the search bar what you're looking for. So let's say I wanna learn about lettering. It'll use that keyword search ability to navigate me to the appropriate tutorials. So it's really added some great functionality so it's easier for everyone to navigate and to get to the information and the kinds of things that they're trying to learn. Once you're done searching, you can just hit this X over here and it'll clear your search bar. Also, if you click any one of these quick tab categories, you can just tap it again to deselect. So I highly encourage you to check out these in-app tutorials. If you select any of them, it'll take you into a special version of the app where it'll go step-by-step step with you through certain features that you can sort of learn more about it in a hands-on way. So highly suggest you check these out if you haven't already. All right. It's time for our next update. So this update is all about snapping to shape. So basically that's the program's way of allowing you to make shapes automatically and a lot faster. To demonstrate this, I'm going to start by drawing a not perfect circle. I'm just going to draw this out and then I'm gonna hold. And as you can see, the program has completed my circle and made it nice and symmetrical, round and perfect. And that's what this whole update is all about. Starting with kind of a wonky looking shape and then the program straightening things out for you automatically when you snap and hold. And as you can see, when I curved it there, it kind of followed my lead. So if I get it kind of straighter, it'll get me closer to those shapes that I want. If you've used programs like Procreate, you'll be familiar with this kind of feature. But yeah, it's really handy. A lot of what things come down to is convenience and because you have the option. So I highly encourage you to take advantage of this and see what kind of things it sort of snaps up for you. If you are finding that you don't have this feature or if it's not working for you, you can just navigate to your settings Go to your app settings, go to input, open up that touch menu and make sure that you have snap to shape enabled. So just make sure that little toggle is in place. For a long time, the only sort of automatic snapping feature that Adobe Fresco had was holding to get a straight line. So now this applies to all shapes, which is really cool to see. So yeah. Pretty neat. I'm really excited about this coming to Fresco. It's been uh, a long wait, perhaps, <laughs> and it's just gonna be making working in Fresco and creating a lot easier and faster. But we're not done yet. Let's check out our next update. All right, this next update is an update to our fill tool. So this is another update that's really helping you with um, making things a little bit faster for you and a bit more convenient. So as you can see, we've got some random shapes here and we've got a few 
repeating colors. So basically, I'm going to grab a new color. And as you can see, I've got this polygon over here and I have this ellipse over here, but they share the same color. If I tap one, I can assign this color to both of these shapes in one tap. Similarly with this yellow, same color now from one tap. And now you can see that since all four of these objects share the same color, with a single tap, they've all become pink and so on and so forth. So this is because we have a contiguous option. So as long as that's toggled off, you can benefit from this sort of time-saving fill feature. Note that when I have contiguous toggled on, however, you're just assigning color individually to each shape with a single tap. So maybe I just want it to be more randomized and I don't really want that sort of color sharing to take place and I wanna be more selective about how I'm filling, I can leave contiguous selected on. But if you've got some elements that you know that you want all the, the these objects to be the same color, you can just do a single tap now and they'll all be assigned the same color, which again, saves you time, saves you a little bit of effort. So really love seeing that in Adobe Fresco. You'll notice similarly that you also have this option in the magic wand. So if you go to your selection tools, select magic wand, if you hit that little, it almost looks like a paint bucket. You'll notice that there's also contiguous setting here. So if this is not selected, once I select one green object, all the green objects are selected. Select one blue, all of them are selected and so on and so forth. So remember and note that this is also an option for the magic wand. So filling is easier, selections are easier. Work smarter, not harder in Adobe Fresco. All right, let's check out our next update. So for those of you who are into using animation and motion in your work, and especially in Adobe Fresco, this new update is for you. This next update allows you to add motion to clipped layers. So I'm talking about clipping masks. So let's take a look. All right, so to create a clipping mask, I'm just going to tap. And then this third icon here, you can tap that. Let's just add some other color in here. Let's use a, our watercolor brush in here. So I've got a green rectangle here and I've got this clipping mask layer here. Now, before I add motion to any layer, I always like to duplicate the layer because once you add motion to a layer, it cannot be removed. So just wanna preserve a non-motion version just in case I slip up, which I often do. I'm going to go to the bottom right-hand corner here, tap once, and now here at the bottom, I have my animation timeline. So I can just tap here. I'll duplicate this frame and just add some more, some more water to each frame. So that was just a little simple frame by frame animation. You can always loop it and apply other settings to it. You can also apply path motion to this by drawing your path out. And that clipped layer information will stay within the bounds of whatever shape you've drawn. So as you can see, it doesn't extend out past that shape. So you can now do this with clipped layers, which is really nice. And if you want some ideas on how to apply animation to your work, I have a whole motion tutorial for Adobe Fresco which I'll link in the description box below. I also have other animation tutorials that you can check out in the Adobe Fresco playlist. You'll also notice that doing transformations and scaling in the individual frames of your clipped layer that you're applying motion to also apply. So really get wacky and wonky, do whatever you want to experiment with this feature. 
Like I said, I have other animation tutorials that you can check out to learn more about motion and these features, but just know you can apply this to clipped layers as well now. So of these updates, which was your favorite? Let me know in a comment down below. If you have any questions, also let me know in a comment. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe for weekly videos if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.